Welcome back to Automobilista 2, the beta again here. Today we were gonna do some a little bit different things here on because we were gonna go not to drive whatsoever as we usually do, race or time trial or championship or test day. We were gonna go to do some sort of test concerning the damage model. You know that after the first official release of the 1.0 version, Risa Studios have started to implement the damage model to various cars. And in the penultimate video, I showed you the damage model, how it is working <laughs> as an example on the GT3R Porsche car. So why don't we do a little bit uh, comparison on the Porsche cars concerning the damage model and see if it differs or not between them and how far they have come with the implementation of the damage model in terms of realistic deformation and uh, breaking off of parts from the car itself. So let's go into this little test video. Let's start with the Porsche GT3 Cup 3.8 for our first try on the damage model. Let's go to the test day and for this test let's just go to a um, short track with uh, a straight that has some kind of walls at its end um, in order that we can crash into it. We will do the crashing roundabout with the same speed and um, in order to have some sort of comparability towards the car so um, let's check let's go to Curvelo short for this event let's start it and as you can see here we are using the full damage without mechanical phages and it should be the ingredients in for a nice damage effect if it is implemented on the respective vehicle so let's start then with the first car, the Porsche GT3 Cup 3.8. And we're here sitting in the cockpit, of course, with the track IR activated as always. Um, let's leave the garage place. Heading down the pit lane. All clear, push now. And now pushing Brakes towards the wall. Careful. And there we have it, the <laughs> damage. Oh no, Rafa, so your suspension's completely knackered. There's nothing we can do there. And now let's get to the replay and let's see how it goes. This is the first <laughs> car that has been damaged. Um, you can see deformation at the front, at the engine, and on the sides, and uh, the front wing has fallen apart. We have no damage to the windscreen and no damage to the front lights. So. The glasses are not simulated realistically in terms of braking, in terms of uh, suffering from impact forces, so they are still undamaged. You can see the other side of the car here. Let's get a little bit closer to it, maybe. You can see the details of the scratches and here yeah the engine hood is also a little bit deformed and I think all in all it's a really nice effect here that this car has shown in terms of being damaged when crashing into a barrier. So this is car number one. Let's jump over to the next one. The next car is the Porsche GT3 911 Cup 4 Zero. 
let's see if the damage model has been implemented in the same manner as well onto this car. So here we are then, ready to go. And let's start the test with the 4.0 Porsche 911. If your taxi looks clear, your brakes are cold, be careful. Around about 160 km per hour was the speed of the last, last test. And there we go. Ah, he has turned over back sides from the barrier. So this is the your first... suspension's completely knackered. There's nothing we can do there. This is the first difference we have uh, from the first impact with the first car. Let's just see the impact moment. Coming out of the pit lane, heading down the main straightaway and completely ignoring the turn. And uh, with around about 160 km per hour, we're going over the gravel trap and crash into the barrier, into the wall, and we'll flip over back to the other side. So this is it <laughs> and you can see here the parts are still flying away from the car let's activate the free cam here we go car number two how is the damage here in terms of effect being implemented you can see we have the scratches from the sides as well here the right side and the front we have um, the front the front bumper is still on the car so it's not fallen apart it has not fallen apart uh, the engine cover is a little bit deformed as well as the sides of the car and uh, you can see as well that the front bumper has suffered from deformation and from scratches and from uh, color losses and of course the car has been dirtied as well by the crash and by the maybe by the um, gravel of the gravel trap so this is car number two um, the same thing here the glasses are untouched still undamaged so the implementation of the glass break has not been done yet but for the rest I think it's already a nice looking damage effect that we have here on the second car on the Porsche 911 GT 4.0 so let's skip over to the next car from here and see what the damage model will be like on that vehicle Let's get over to Porsche number 3, the 911 GT3 racing car. Let's just select another livery. Let's go with this white painted car because there we can see maybe all the scratches and the deformations and the loss of color in the best manner. So then ready to start off from the garage place for the next impact test with the Porsche GT3 racing car, car number 3. Heading down the pit lane onto the main straight away up around about 160 km per hour over the gravel trap and smashing into the barrier for the third time with the third car now let's get out of it oh, and let's Rafa, see your suspension is completely yeah, knackered sorry man we can do that. but we are doing a test here let's jump out of the car let's get to the replay getting down the main straight away with the third car as well ignoring completely the corner flying over the gravel trap and smashing with the front into the barrier you can see little parts falling away and the bumper is falling away as well on this car or from this car and now let's see the damage effect we have damage implemented here as well we knew it 
and uh, you can see how it has been uh, shown here after our impact the same thing as on the other two cars we have scratches and deformation on the sides we have bumper falling away you can see it there we have no damage on the glass parts on the windscreen and on the lights front lights and you can see the sides are quite deformed here you can see it from this view angle very nicely uh, the engine cover is also deformed as well as the suspension and I think also the landing gear has been deformed. So the deformation of the landing gear has been implemented. So very nice. You can see scratches and the color has fallen off as well here. At this side and on this side as well. So this is car number three. As well, a car with a very nice realistic damage model that has been implemented to it by Risa. And now let's go to the next one. I'm gonna be testing the fourth and final car for our Porsche related damage model test. And it will be the Porsche Cayman GT4 Club Sport MR car. Let's go to the Libre Select, choose one with a bright front <laughs> color. Let's choose this one, very nice. White, black, light blue combinated color scheme, Porsche Cayman GT4. Let's head over to the crash test. Ready to start off the last test of our series of today's Porsche damage model comparison. Let's go. Starting off the engine and heading into the onto the pit lane, accelerating, shifting off Jack's the gears, clear. push, push, push. And, uh, got cold brakes all around. Going down the main straight away until 160 km per hour and smashing into the barrier as well with this one. And you can see the engine the bonnet is completely knackered. It's not There's falling off, but it has risen uh, quite a lot here um, let's just get out of the car let's see the replay of the crash and let's see the impact from the track cam view as we're heading down the main straight away as well with this car here car number four ignoring completely the right hand corner flying over the gravel trap and smashing into the barrier with the front side there we go wow we are punched back and really uh, lift up and uh, then we come to the ground again and uh, you can see the little parts are falling away in the distance and now let's get to check out the damage model in this car same story i think we have a damaged model and you can see the sides are scratched and uh, are deformed as well and we have color pieces or color parts that has fallen off that have fallen off from the bodywork you can see deformation of the landing gear as well as well as deformation of the engine cover and uh, this side here is really highly deformed you can see it depending on the sort of impact you have the deformations accordingly to the forces that have been uh, applied on the parts of the car so very nice deformation effects losing the camera here a little bit And uh, I wanted to show off a little bit uh, the the front bumper, but uh, you can see here <laughs> we have some bug as well. I have um, walked around with the free camera and coming back to the car, uh, we have uh, a simplified 
picture, a synthesized 3D model of it. So it's still a little bug. And now let's go to the to the bumper and let's see the deformation that has suffered the bumper from the impact. You can see it here. Uh, it has been deformed and it's still on the air. So, but guys, let's get back to the cockpit. This is it for this little technical comparison concerning the damage model. So we see that the Porsches have all together been provided of a damage model and I think it's a quite a nice one already. I think Risa Studio will go on and provide a lot of more cars with this damage model. And I think the damage model itself will be updated as well in the near future. So you can expect a lot more to come even at this area. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. A little bit uh, different video of today. Trying to show off some other stuff than usual than just driving. But we will coming back as well soon on track again. But for today guys, thank you for watching. If you end up liking the video, as always, remember to push the like button and uh, consider subscribing as well for more stuff from me in the future. But we'll see us very soon, the next one. Thank you again and bye-bye from Rodonso. Ciao!